what is going on guys welcome back my lions like I promised you guys on Monday we're gonna talk about how much exactly do you need in order to get started on Amazon FBA let's talk about some of the things now I have my phone for my notes guys so uh, bear with me um, what exactly do you need in order to get started on Amazon right so the first and major thing that you're gonna have is the cost of your product so you have to manufacture your product overseas uh, you have to ship it to an Amazon FBA warehouse. That is your first cost. So we're going to assume that you can manufacture a product. Um, let's say if you want to sell a product that is between 20 to $30, average manufacturing cost can range, but like I would say it's about like 2 to $3. So let's say the average manufacturing cost per item is $3, and we're going to order 200 units, right? That's our starting point. So I never really want to go a bit lower or higher just because I want to test out the market first with the product. So we're going to order 200 units at $3 a piece. So that's $600 right there. Okay. Keep that in mind. $600 to just manufacture our product. Now the shipping cost is about half of that. So about a dollar 50 more, um, you are going to get your product from overseas. Um, the per per unit that is um, to an Amazon fulfillment warehouse. Okay, so oh, right then and there, we're looking at about two hundred times times and a half, so about uh, three hundred dollars worth of shipping um, that is gonna connect, combine with our six hundred dollars of uh, product cost, right? So the manufacturing and your uh, the number of items or uh, the the shipping of your product to bring it to an Amazon FBA warehouse cost you about $900 okay so guys this is US dollars so just keep that in mind if you are in Canada and you're doing the conversion so a good rule of thumb is to do it times 1.33 that's usually the average range of uh, exchange rate so we got $900 of cost already just to bring our product here now what else do we need we need so one of the softwares that we need is jungle scout and that usually costs if you get the chrome extension or the web app so the web app is about 30 dollars a month right and the chrome extension is about 97 dollars uh, for the year so if you get let's say the chrome extension so i always like to project a bit higher so that if i'm under it i'm safe but i want to make sure i'm ready for the cost so we're going to say about $100 in Jungle Scout. Now it's the, one of the best tools out there. I know guys, there's a lot of tools like Vital Launch and Helium 10 and all that, but Jungle Scout is as relevant as it was before. It helps you with product research and it helps you to give you competitive information on your uh, competitors, what prices uh, to choose and um, um, how many reviews do you need to in order to sell a certain number of items and how many units your competitors are selling all this amazing data you're gonna get it from that so I made a deal with Jungle Scout and I'm gonna get you I'm getting you guys 20% off so the link is in the description below so that will save you guys 20% on the uh, monthly subscriptions and there are different packages so you'll save there is one that's 15% but the rest of them 20% so check it out guys it's an amazing amazing tool so we're gonna count hundred dollars for that so that brings us to thousand dollars okay so keep that number in mind the third thing you're gonna need is your logo right now if you're a design savvy person and you know how to design logos you've worked with Photoshop InDesign or Illustrator right you can create your own logo no problem but if you don't have that experience you can go to Fiverr, Fiverr however you want to call it and you can get that done for 35 to 50 dollars right so we're gonna choose the higher range so let's say our logo will cost us about 50 dollars now you need that for private labeling okay uh, or uh, exactly so um, if you want to create your own brand you need that you want to make sure you start off uh, uh, with the right foot you never want to go in without the logo because um, this is your opportunity when uh, customers buy your product to see your logo and actually the brand to stick with them and then they'll remember it to tell their friends if they like the same product right so very important guys so that costs us about 50 so now we're at thousand dollars and fifty uh, sorry thousand fifty okay you're gonna need your barcode, right? So that's the barcode, uh, that's your PC barcode that you send uh, to your supplier and they're gonna put it on all of your boxes, okay? So that's gonna cost you guys about $75. Now I've seen some lower, I've seen some higher, so we're gonna just choose $75 just to be safe. 
So we were at 1015, now we are at 1125, okay? So now we've covered four items, four important items, and it's costing us 1125. Now I like to just give myself a little bit of room, so I'm gonna say 1200, just in case for those unforeseen costs, right? Like whether there is a charge, like a handling charge for your shipping coming in, uh, or something like that, you know what I mean? Just always account for those things because it never goes according to plan, guys. So always, always include a little bit extra just so you have the funds when the shit hits the fence, um, forgive me for my expression. Two things that are optional, right? Photos, so you gotta get professional photos done, and copywriting. So when you're doing your listing, you can get a professional photographer. Now they charge about 30 to 35 dollars per photograph. So if you have five, six photographs, so like you do the math, right? It can cost you a couple hundred dollars. But there is a way to get around that. Now when you are looking for suppliers, ask them if they have pre-taken, professionally taken photos of the product. This is the best way and most of them do because they are selling that product to you on Alibaba and they're using the same products. Now if you're buying from them, you can ask them and 9 out of 10 guys, they have it. So you will save that cost. So now that's optional but I am going to include that just in case it's not because guys, like I love to be conservative and um, realistic with my projections, right? So I'm going to choose the worst case scenario so that I'm prepared for it, right? But the best case scenario is amazing, right? So the best case scenario is they have the products and you have zero cost for photographs. But the worst case scenario is you got to pay $200 to get the photos taken. So now we are at basically how much we're at? Like uh, $1,400, right? So $1,400, that's where we are so far. The next thing is inspection. Now inspection can cost a little bit of money. Um, that one I'm not gonna include because there are ways around that. So inspection is basically, uh, you hire a company in China, they're gonna go to the uh, supplier's warehouse and they're gonna check the products. So the shipments that they have ready for you, they're gonna actually make sure the quality is there. Now, it's very important if you're iffy about the supplier. But my question is, why would you go for, a, if it's for an FE supplier in the first place? Why would you not go for a trusted supplier? And Alibaba has certain tags um, that you can choose to make sure that the supplier is quality. Now, uh, look for their history, look for their rating, all kinds of things. Like now, when I brought my first product, I didn't do it, right? But it was fine. It was everything fine because I did my due diligence beforehand. So we're not gonna include that cost in there, but if you want, we can put an extra $100 right there. So that brings our cost to $1,500. Guys, the last and the most important thing is that you need an Amazon seller account, okay? Uh, you cannot use the individual account just because it doesn't have the advertising platform. So you're gonna need some funds for that as well. So it's normally like about $40 a month um, different, um, uh, I mean, conversion rates, you do the math, but, um, so we are, and just in case, um, uh, we haven't accounted for anything else, I'm going to say that, okay, so we're at 1540, but we're going to change it to 1600 again, guys, just in case there is something like by the time you are applying for these softwares or you are actually like buying these softwares or getting the account prices fluctuate. So uh, that's why I'm going to create this video um, for the future as well. So you know exactly that um, the cost will be. So 1600 will say is our round number total that we need in order to get started on Amazon FBA. Now that cost can be significantly lower because remember guys, like out of the 1600, 900 was just our product manufacturing and shipping, right? So if you are bringing in um, products and you're bringing it by air, it could be a lot more expensive. If you're getting it by ocean, it could be a lot cheaper. And same thing, if you're manufacturing cost, and, and remember guys, I went a little conservative and I said $3. I could have said $2 and been a little bit more aggressive with it, but no, I want to account for those things. So I said $3, but you could negotiate and bring down the price to $2. So that will save you guys some money. So 
if I can give you guys a range is between $1,300 to $1,600 um, you need to get started on Amazon FBA and guys like it's amazing because what other business could you start with that low right you don't need any overhead you're working from your home um, you do you, you you're working at the pace and time that um, you have uh, you don't have to like quit your job for this so build it up build it up and once you get to a six seven figure within a year uh, sorry six figure within a year because seven figure takes a bit more time no matter what people tell you um, is uh, then you can basically spend a lot more time and a, a lot more money on this so that you can bring like thousands of uh, thousands of items uh, units instead of like just like a couple hundred or so but to get started guys 200 units is more than enough just to get your hands uh, dirty and um, try to uh, have a backup plan ask your manufacturer what the um, how long it'll take for your product to manufacture uh, how many units can you order on a short notice like all kinds of things like that so if you run out of inventory you can replenish it right away so again guys let's run through the cost quickly so now we had our um, manufacturing cost shipping cost right uh, uh, to bring 200 units jungle scout which is the third one great product research tool 70 uh, 20 percent off down below and i also have merchant words at 70 percent off down below um, you had your amazon seller account which is another 40 dollars on average a month you need that in order to have the uh, uh, advertising platform and PPC campaigns and on such. Uh, you need to get your logo done, right? That's very important. Your barcode, which is your UPC barcode, you're going to send to your manufacturers. And then, of course, guys, uh, we had the two optional items, which is your photos and your copywriting, right? So copywriting can be another $50. Uh, it's perfect that I uh, allocated a little bit extra because that will now include into our 1600 so copyright and photographs professional photographs that's optional so keep that in mind and then the last one guys is an inspection agency um, uh, again you don't have to spend that if you do your due diligence and find a respectable and um, a quality supplier but if you think that uh, you may be at a risk I highly suggest that you go and hire an inspection companies so they can at least um, check it make sure the product is good before it starts shipping that's it guys I hope this video really helped you guys figure out um, how much you really need for uh, to, to get started on Amazon again it's on average between $1,300 to $1,600 I broke down the key components of that cost for you guys now if this video has helped you drop a comment if you would like to hear something else or you want me to go over a specific set of information that you've been wondering about drop it in the comments below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys on Friday we're gonna talk about is it too early to prepare for Q4? I get this question a lot and as a business professional from my background and the business, uh, the years that I've spent with Amazon, um, I'll let you guys know what exactly is the best way to prepare for Q4, all right? So that video is gonna be up on Friday and have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you guys then.